Wait a minute. Excuse, hello, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Crap. <laughs> Yuki. <laughs> I'm making it work. Hello, if you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hello there. Um, <laughs> Bonnet is actually from isokainofe.com. I know someone's gonna ask, I'll put it on the screen for you right here. So welcome back to another video, guys. This video is gonna be a little bit different because today I decided I was going to show you one of my many Amazon purchases that I had no business actually purchasing. But I figured I'm gonna try to figure this out and show it on camera. So you guys know I love makeup, I love hair, I love fashion, I love anything that is intrinsically, I guess, I don't know, girly or whatever. Like, you know, back in the day we used to get made fun of for being girly. Um, yeah, I'm completely girly and I have no shame in my game whatsoever. Anything beautiful and aesthetic, pleasing, feminine, just whatever you wanna call it, I'm I'm in there like swimwear. So that definitely includes all things hair. I actually saw someone I follow on Instagram, Andra Williams, she is a blogger. She she actually wore this wig and I was like, you know what, wait a minute, this this might be a vibe. This might be something, this, there's something here. So it's actually a synthetic wig. Um, I purchased it off of Amazon, let me pull it out for you guys. Here's the package, I purchased this, it's been I'm sure over a month and a half, so hopefully they actually sent me the correct wig. <sighs> here it is. My first synthetic wig purchase in a very long time. Have I ever, no, I've purchased synthetic wigs before, but they were many, 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 many years ago. This is the Free Tress Equal five inch lace part Valentino wig and the color is FF Hot Choco. Trying to get used to the lingo here, guys. It actually says on here that it's curling iron safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know how true that is, but do I wanna, do I wanna test it out? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm just making a mess. Got all this stuff and things on here. Um, I don't remember how much this was when I purchased it on Amazon. I think it was somewhere around 18 to $24. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. She's, okay. The synthetic game has definitely improved. And you guys can see the part right here. I definitely will have to apply some foundation or something. L look at the inside. Look, this is low key of, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, Amazon. Okay. All right, so you can see the inside of the wig here. Um, oh Lord, I really hope this is going to fit my head. If not, I will be very sad. There is a sewn in comb right here at the very back which I really don't care for, to be honest. I'm not really a fan of combs and wigs. Also, we have two adjustable straps back here. Now, the fact that this is synthetic, I don't know if I even feel comfortable wearing this outside at all. This will probably be, if, if all goes well, this will probably be a just wearing it to film kind of wig because I know Houston humidity and heat will destroy synthetic hair and I'm just not taking any chances at all. So actually we have several combs now that I look at it. We have two over here towards the front. I don't use combs, you guys. I'm probably going to just remove those because yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. Now my natural hair is not in tip top, uh, 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 high quality, need to be shown to the world via YouTube state. So I'm going to just throw my head back so you can't see the real tea of what's going on. And um, yeah, let's see how this goes, hold on. Wait a minute. Hello, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello. Can you please get out of my face? Okay, let's shift this over. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, wait, <laughs> I'm pleasantly shocked. You guys, okay, let's pull this up. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, this needs to lay, I thought this would, I thought I would need to sew on like an elastic band on here. I still might just for, 
you know, in case of inquisity, I still might. But look at it, here is the length. Sorry, I know it's gonna be a little bit ghetto, like, wait a minute, Yuki, I can see everything in the background. But you know what? You need to see the full essence of the wig. All right there, look at it. Wow, y'all, I'm shocked. Look at that, fam. I was gonna curl it on camera, but I don't think I really need to. Now, this thing is very shiny. Um, especially back here, you can tell just how shiny it looks. It looks quite synthetic. So it's definitely a situation where I have to cover, I have to use this to cover right here or else like you're gonna see everything. What is this? Like who, who asked for, you guys see these little hairs right here? Who asked for this? Cause I know I didn't. Is it possible for this to lay even? flatter per se whenever it comes to makeup products that are going to be used for stuff other than makeup i like to designate them as just for that other purpose alone rather than going back and forth because it's just very unsanitary and i'm low-key a germaphobe okay low-key mid-key high-key all the keys but either way the point is use something for one purpose and don't multi don't multi purpose it. Thank you very much. Okay, so I have these two black radiance color perfect foundation sticks. I hope you can see the colors there. Okay. The top one. Excuse me, sir. This top one that's a little lighter is called bronze glow. And this bottom one right here is called cappuccino. Um, I think I'm gonna go for okay. Here's the thing about scalp, right? Scalp is usually a little bit lighter than your skin tone. My actual scalp is way lighter than my skin tone. So I think I'm probably gonna use this guy. Yeah. I'm really sad. I don't know what happened to all that stuff. Maybe when I moved, I probably tossed them. But I also used to have a little tiny brush. It was supposed to be an angled eyeliner brush. I would use it to um, my laces and all that stuff. And it was quite small. I think I have something even smaller. Yes, I do. So I have to be sure to really disinfect this well since it's going onto something or somewhere other than my face. I just have to be very careful and precise. I don't want to take this color all the way to the back though because I feel like it'll just look too artificial. All right, that's what we've got so far. I wish I had dry shampoo. I'm gonna try to see if I can use some mousse to kind of flatten it down a little bit. This may or may not work. I'm using the Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. And um, I really, I don't know if this will work, but let's see. I'm also gonna just wrap my hair down and like keep it tied down just to see if that will help our situation here. So, you guys, these Amazon sellers, they just, gosh darn it. So I just wanted to clarify, I'm looking at my order details right now. It was $26.96 when I first purchased it. If you try to go on Amazon right now and buy this same exact wig, guess how much it is? Just guess. A whopping $34.95. Yes, that is how much this wig currently is. A synthetic wig, Come. I'm not paying over $30 for a synthetic wig, I'm sorry. I just, why, what is the point? It's not even like, oh, it's a fusion blend, you know, like synthetic human hair, uh, co-interlocking mechanistic operation. It's just a synthetic wig. I was on the phone with my friend just now and she is more of the wig uh, connoisseur than I am. And I asked her like, hey, is there anything else I can use other than dry shampoo? Cause I don't have any dry shampoo to get rid of this shine. And I also don't have any baby powder. So I'm thinking and it's too late to go to the store now and pick up either of those things because you know apparently like there's a lot of human trafficking going around right now and my friend was just warning me like girl don't go out like late at night by yourself but why don't i just use some translucent setting powder on the hair you know because i mean it just it should work right i right i mean I'm gonna take this off. It's been on for maybe like 
and not long. And that made no difference. And I feel like it actually made the hair look a little bit shinier up top. Ah, all right, not quite what we were expecting. I'm gonna try to see if I can use some translucent set. Yes, I'm using makeup to figure out a hair situation. Leave me alone, okay? Gosh. I was gonna use this Beauty Bakery flower powder, but I think instead I'm gonna use this OPV Beauty, um, what is this? OPV Beauty loose setting powder in medium, just so it's not like white, white, white. Now, will this affect our outcome? I don't know, let's find out. It would probably be better if I use a powder puff, but I don't have one that's clean. Neither do I wanna use a powder puff on hair and then use it on my face later. I mean, I'm sure like just washing it will be fine, but so I'm just using a, I don't even remember which company's blender this is, but it's a blender. Uh, let's see. Okay, maybe this is not a good idea. Oh, no, 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 it might work. It just kind of colors the hair a little bit. I don't know, am I, am I doing this right? Somebody help me. I just wanna get like a light coat, look at me. Like, is this a flat iron or what? <laughs> <laughs> this will take forever to do i'm about to just like go and just put it on here no i really am like i can't I, I don't have all day i really don't have all day if the hair gets messed up i'll just wash it can you wash you you can wash synthetic wigs right is it like a special i don't know you guys let me know down in the comment section well i've pretty much destroyed all the curls at this point. See, this is what I hate about synthetic hair. But ends, they already acting up. I might add some curls in here just to test it out. Oh no, I just, I own the mansion that's, you know, just three blocks up, yeah, on the hill. Yeah, that's my Maserati in the driveway. Just one of my many cars or whatever, you know, I just, I love to splurge a little bit, you know, I just figured, you know, we only have one life to live, you might as well just grab a few toys while you're here. I won't be able to tell right away just like what the difference of the shininess is until I'm actually looking at my footage while editing. I got this T3 World Trio package a while back and I have yet to test it out. These are just, uh, just the packaging alone, white and gold. That is me, that is me, it is I, I am she. Here's what the inside of it looks like. I think I showed this on Instagram story a while back. So we've got a really large barrel here, one that tapers off and then another one. I think I'm gonna use the smallest one here. So there's a little clickety thingamajiggy. So as you can see, there's a little clicking mechanism and I'm trying to lock it in place. There we go. All right, so I got that. I'm gonna put it on the lower heat settings just because I don't want to scorch this hair and make it melt. Okay, it's still warming up. I'm just gonna use it while it's kind of warming up and that way it won't get super duper duper hot. Let's see. Oh gosh. I'm supposed to be using a glove. You guys, I'm sorry. It's so hard trying to do this hair, do any hair in this monitor, like do a monitor as opposed to in a mirror. Did that do anything? Not really. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this, this thing is really hot already. I'm gonna disconnect it. Ugh, the smell. Okay, this hair does not hold a curl, I'm sorry. Regular human hair would have curled. I don't know what's happening to this. Cause this thing is actually like quite hot. What is that? <laughs> I probably should have put translucent powder after trying to curl it, but didn't need to curl it before. Oh, look at that, baby. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to, off camera of course, later on, I'm actually going to be sewing a plastic band, pla plastic? An elastic band on here, cause for all of my wigs that have elastic bands on, that's just what helps me make, it helps me feel secure, okay? And it also helps the wig to lay flatter. I really don't know if this will lay down any flatter. It possibly could, who knows? I guess depending on the placement of the elastic band. I'm going to pluck this whole entire thing off because it's so stupid. But I mean, outside of these little things that are super annoying, the wig is 
it's cute i like the color i like the vibes i like the transitions i like the dimension i like the tonality of it all so yeah that 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 is it for this video i know it's, it's a little bit different but i'm glad i did this video i'm glad i bought this wig i actually was so ready to return it if they would let me but i think she's a keeper what do you guys think? Let me know. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment section. I will go pick up some dry shampoo if I really feel like I need to. And also I'll be sewing down my elastic band and getting rid of this because it's... Ugh. Like, what, what is that? You're annoying. Go away. And I'll try to figure out this whole curling situation because... <laughs> I don't know what that was about. And I know for a fact it was not the curling wand, okay? If you like, please follow me on Instagram. I'm at Yuki underscore Y-O-U-K-E-Y-Y underscore. Thank you once again for hanging out with me. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Lord willing, stay blessed. Bye.